Hello again and welcome to my creative African cooking channel Indie do by Fafa Mia Wezulu Indie do by Fafa so today let's make something exciting for breakfast okay i'm starting off with my peanut flour which means that most of the fat has been extracted from it so yes that's my favorite thing to use and i'll be using about 150 grams of that now do not worry i'd leave the list of ingredients and measurements including the transcript of this recipe on my blog indudu by fafa.blogspot.com i'm also going to be adding equal amount of my roasted corn flour which in Ghana we know it's locally known as Tom Brown yes so of course I'm gonna mix everything together as you can tell till it's well combined now if this is your first time you welcome thank you very much for tuning in please don't forget to click the subscribe button and the notification button so you do not miss any future videos next thing is i'm going to be adding my water yes and i'll be adding about 300 milliliters of water and i'll be mixing this till it's well combined now you think i'm done oh no now this recipe is definitely inspired by the jamaican peanut butter porridge yes but i'm making it differently in my own little way but of course there are elements of it that you know pays homage to what is like this dish. Anyway, this looks like it's combined, yes? Because go make sure that I don't have any lumps in there. So mix it till you have a very nice and smooth double cream consistency. Now to my loyal subscribers, thank you guys, you're just incredible. So for sure we get in there, you know, definitely. I'm loving your comments, your likes, your interactions. I love you guys. You are the real MVP. So, of course, I'll be adding my cinnamon powder. Yes. And that's going to give it natural sweetness. And guess what? You think I'm done? No, I'm going to mix all of this together. Now, please don't forget to like the video. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to be grating some fresh nutmeg to it. Oh, that's just going to be nice. Now, in the absence of that, if you've got all spice, just add two. But it means that you have to blend all this mixture together. So you blend it and that'd be great. Now, of course, I'm adding about 50 milliliters of hot water. A, just to actually, you know, pour, to help the nutmeg that end up on my wooden um, ladle there, as you can tell, um, to go in there. So you kind of mix that all together. But anyway, I've placed my saucepan on a medium heat and I'm going to be stirring this. Now, please do not leave it unattended because this is a crucial moment if not you're just going to end up with a lumpy porridge and yeah you just don't want to do that next thing is i'm using jaggery which is the palm sugar you can use your normal brown sugar or any sweetener that you prefer now this dish um is also one of my greatest friends um favorite but of course not with the shenanigans that i'm making so yeah i'm paying homage to this amazing individual you know who you are anyway so yeah I'm still mixing it um, because this was my second time of making this recipe and I was like is it gonna work is it not gonna work yes first time I was like yeah lucky but second time let's see then I know that I've got it till the tea so yes it's thickening up beautifully and I'm still maintaining that medium heat so this is a crucial moment where now I know I can actually leave this. Um, it's not going to be lumpy and it's just going to boil perfectly. Now you can just see it's just getting darker and darker with every stare. And also it's thickening up exactly what I want. So of course this is gluten free. But if you've got any nut allergies, please stay clear away from this dish. I'm using coconut milk. You can use any milk of your choosing. And you can also use your lacto-free milk, not a problem. And I've just mixed this and I've cooked this for a total of 10 minutes. Yes. And yeah, I think this is almost done. But of course, I'm going to allow it to simmer um, for at least about three to four minutes. Yes. And then when it thickens up just beautifully, um, then I know that it's ready. Do you like what you see so far? If so, please give this video 
a like yes a thumbs up and leave your comments below and i hope you are inspired to try the recipe as well and if you do i would love to hear from you your feedback means a lot because yes it tells me that yes my recipes are working you're enjoying it and i can bring you more content look at this it's ready so I've got my coconut bowl here and of course I use coconut oil and I've got my little cotton bud over there yes for that little je ne sais quoi thing and yeah you think I'm done no I had to scoop a little bit of my peanut butter the Ghanaian peanut butter which is so creamy nice and soft is the best ever yes I've just scooped that in there and that was my breakfast actually yeah and I've just shared it with you guys Please go to the kitchen and make some more. Now, I have got amazing recipes on the site. I've done sobolo, but in three different ways. I've done something amazing with figs. Yes, the amazing bitter cola tea you need to try. The kinky juice, the smoky, you know, corn and beans banku. You've got the okra stir fry and still talking about the sobolo. Look, the ice lolly and even how to fry the perfect fish. I will definitely leave the list of ingredients in the transcript of this recipe on my blog, indudubyfafat.blogspot.com, so do check it out. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat as indudubyfafat, so pass by and say hi. Noel, thank you very much for my theme song. And until my next video, kings and queens and beautiful people, take care of yourself. Please don't forget to wash your hands, use your hand sanitizer, boost your immune system, and if you're going out, do wear your mask. Please stay safe. Yes. And you know what? I love you for you. Exactly. See you in my next video. Toodles.